Muscle Talk overall bodybuilding champion is... It's our heavyweight, Will Shomay! Number eight! <laughs> I don't even know what to say, bro. Crazy, man. We've done it, another show, another overall win, and finally. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are well. Couple days after the BMBF Midlands qualifier, we are back. As you can see, we have a new addition to the channel. His name's Top G. I'm Top G. Top G and Top T, boss tings. How old is he? He's like 12 weeks, you know. 12 weeks. Little pop, getting trained. So yeah, a couple of days past the uh, show. That is now two qualifiers wrapped up. PCA, Muscle Talk and BMBF Midlands. These two qualifiers now lead me going into the British final. The first British final is going to be in five weeks, three or four days time. And two weeks after that, October 16th, we have the PCA British finals. So yeah, exciting times, but no rest for the wicked. We're going straight back on the job, finish what we started. I don't really know what this episode is going to be, but you can probably tell by the title of the video, but let's get going. But First things first, feeding time for my little friend. Look at him already getting excited. This his pre-workout meal as well. Beef and try. Tripe. Tripe. We're gonna get that big gym session for him today. He's training pause. <laughs> this full of protein. Now um spread it with your hands. What you would you mean? <laughs> no, I'm I was say. There we go. Wait. Good boy. He didn't wait, but it is what it is. Time to go gym. Quick detour, instead of going to the gym first, we're going to check in with the coach first at Saxon Gym. And then we'll be hitting up a training session afterwards. So we're going to see how we're looking, get some feedback from him, what his thoughts are in regards to the show, the position we're at, heading into the British finals. I'll check in with you guys over there to stay updated. the coach and I just wanted to get some thoughts from my coach on what he's thinking going into the British finals and just a wrap up of the overall show from last weekend so I let him fire away. Pleased with the package that we brought. I think that there's a lot of ways we can improve compared to the PCA show which we didn't really do a peak for. The was much fuller, rounder, the physique looked like 10 times better, more pop to it. Now, it's just a case of like building what we've set in place. With the show just gone, obviously we're glad we won the overall, because that's what we was aiming for. It's a case of, you go in there to be untouchable. Realistically, you never know who's gonna turn off, and you don't know what they look like. The main thing is kind of making sure you're in the space to be at your best, basically priming yourself, so when you step on stage, there's like nothing left to worry about. It's just a point of understanding what you want to do and what you want to achieve, and understanding how to to go about it correctly, making sure it doesn't happen too early by doing things a bit too drastic. So we move patiently, we move confidently as well, knowing that we can achieve those targets. And yeah, man, we'll be going forward and get to the finals. And I just want to reiterate the importance of having a very knowledgeable and a good coach in a prep phase because there's a lot of people out there that are coaches and bearing in mind you don't need any qualifications and whatever. I'm not trying to, you know, down talk anyone or anything like that, but like to actually have someone in my perspective that's been there, done that naturally at 
the highest level as well. It's, it's a big arsenal in my game because it's like I'm basically going in there with a lot of tools and like even as he mentioned the way we peaked in the BNBF, I'd say that was us going in at like 70% if that. So like I know going into the British final, I'm prepared to do everything to bring the best physique possible. I have no doubt in mind with Adrian, his experience and his knowledge that we will accomplish. Look forward to taking you guys on that journey and we'll get around to it. But that's the check-in complete wrapped up. I think we're training next so I'll probably see you guys back at the gym. Check it out, but I love that feeling after a fresh trip. We're gonna head home now. I'm gonna have a quick pre-workout meal before we head to the gym. Missed out my first meal and skipped my second meal for breakfast this morning. As I ran out of the ingredients, I'm gonna head to the shop quick, get my cream of rice, have that as a pre-workout instead of breakfast, and then head to the gym, smash this workout for you guys. Secured. We have the pre-workout meal secured. We have 80 grams of ground rice with two scoops of whey. Normally, as you guys know, I do have the Hydro Whey, but I ran out of that one. I'm waiting on my Optimum Nutrition Supplement order coming tomorrow, I believe. I normally like to have my pre-workout meal 90 minutes to two hours before training, just because I don't think training with a full stomach is beneficial and it gets the blood out of my system so I can have an effective workout and an effective pump. Also to mention a couple of days after the show, the coach has stated that calories are slightly higher my carbs have slightly increased from what they were obviously before the peak week we'll probably run this for a couple of days for a week before commencing another phase of cutting down going into the british finals but with that being said i am starving so i'm gonna have eat this wait 90 minutes and then we're gonna bounce to the gym Down at the HQ World Gym. We're doing shoulders today. Short, intense, hard. What's worked best for me with my doubts is keeping the workout short, high volume, going heavy on the presses, and just going all out, man. Choice of pre-workout today, nothing crazy. Just optimum nutrition and you know energy. So yeah, we'll crack on straight to it. So first exercise going down, single arm, cable, side raises. In my opinion, one of my favorite shoulder exercises just because the way it isolates the delt and brings as much blood in there for the rest of the workout. Yeah, let's start off with raises first, side first, front raises. And once I've got enough blood flow in there and all the muscle fibers in my shoulders are activated, I'm going to some heavy presses so I can get the most out of them. That's just what works best for me and let's get straight into it. Intensity for shoulders, man. The aim is when training shoulders, maintain that burning sensation, man. Your small muscle group, not as big as your chest, back or legs, so they need that constant intensity in there. So pressing movement for shoulders today is the, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a machine shoulder press. Normally I love doing dumbbell shoulder presses, you know, on the bench as you guys always know. Yeah, sometimes switch it up to make it more fun and intense, and that's it.
so mental, man. I see a lot of people complain when they're in a contest, but dying that it's hard. Like, yes, it is hard. I mentioned earlier in the video, I feel personally the only hard part about prep is when you're incorporating it into your day-to-day -day life. But what is prep really? It's just dieting on low calories, obviously getting your training in and your recovery. Like, I think it's more of a mental thing. A lot of people give in too quickly, like having that mindset. You're like, you know what, I'm up for it. Let's give it a good go. And that's what I try and embody every day with my discipline and work ethic. It'll only be as hard as you make it out to be in your head. If you think it's going to be easy, it's going to be easy. You put in the work, the results will show. So yeah, back to this workout and then we'll get the hell out of it because I've had a long day. So that's the end of this shoulder workout complete as well as wrapping up the vlog here at the local world's gym don't really have much to say but we're just staying focused and staying consistent a couple of people asked me after the show oh like i bet you're buzzing after the show and whatever but still not losing sight of the mission and what's expected of me by myself ahead so i kind of don't like to let that feeling of accomplishment and complacency sink in when i haven't got what i've wanted if that makes sense without trying to sound obviously too big-headed or anything you can't slap man like you can only get better uh, without further ado, without me blabbering on, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.